I'm a member of the first class to come to Brandeis in the fall of 1948. In the beginning, there were no traditions, no school newspaper, there was no school governance. We were the COVID class, class of 24, so our fall semester was wild. Like, our orientation was a free mask, a COVID test, and, like, go to your room. But I met my girlfriend of two and a half years here. Her name's Lauren. She's great. She was actually the first person I saw. Student activism was very, very prevalent during that time. And many students were very, very focused and engaged regarding the anti-war protests, particularly as it related to the military draft. You think about 1966, that's 21 years after the Holocaust. There shows up this guy with an obvious German accent, and some people looked at me straight, but never in any way made me feel uncomfortable. What was Brandeis like in the late 90s? I would say it was just when technology was starting to pop up. Right away when I came here, I was introduced to the whole GLBTQA plus community, which was different letters at the time, um, and didn't quite understand what my place was in that, but I knew that it was really important. Brandeis' motto is truth even unto its innermost parts. So when we're in the classroom talking about something like a book, sometimes that can mean even getting into a book so much that you break its spine and getting into its innermost parts and I guess its halves. I did that and that's why this book really speaks to my Brandeis experience. I have a lot of favorite memories. And I've been able to um, go on some adventures with my cohort. We did this like midnight breakfast thing and the line was so long. And of course it was one night where it was snowing and cold and we were all huddled together like penguins. My friends and I, we started having this tradition of every time it, it snowed, we would grill. And I don't know if I can admit to this now, but I, I guess it's gone now, so. And I'm not a student here anymore. I can't get in trouble, right? I, I totally climbed the castle when I was here. Like, me and some of my rock climbing friends, we climbed up to the top of the castle and would, like, sit on there. It had such amazing views of the Boston skyline. Dream and keep dreaming the dream that you have of one day being who you really want to be and see that fulfilled in what you choose to do with your lives. And as a senior alumnus of this school, I feel I wanted to share this message, this central message with you so that you'd never forget what this special gift has been. I do it. I don't have notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for being here.